you have the following information about good X and Y. Income elasticity of demand for good X is negative three, I think that's supposed to mean. And the cross price elasticity of demand for good X between the price of good Y is two. So A, what type of good is X? Uh, yeah, our junior tutor has said what I'm thinking, that good X is an inferior good because the income elasticity is negative. Um, so an inferior good is a good that as your income increases, you consume less of it, uh, which seems kind of counterintuitive at first, but like think of like me, I ate a ton of Mr. Noodles in college. Uh, as soon as I started working and got an income, I don't think I've had Mr. Noodles one cent. Uh, so that's something when income is low and you're living on OSAP, federal loans, you get Mr. Noodles because you can get a lot of meals out of it. Uh, but once you start earning a decent income, it's the last thing you ever want to eat again. Uh, so good X and inferior good, since it has negative income elasticity, on the contrary, if it was positive, then it would be a normal good. Normal good is when your income increases, uh, so does your demand. So I don't know, that's like most goods. Maybe you wouldn't buy, um, you probably wouldn't buy, I don't know, a video game if you didn't have much money. But if you have some extra disposable income, then you may start p purchasing luxuries of that nature. Um, B, would an increase in income Increase in income and a decrease in the price of good Y unambiguously decrease the demand for good X. Why or why not? Our junior tutor has said that it, it will decrease the demand for good X if the price of X is less than the price of Y, even after a decrease in the price of Y since income is increased. Uh, and lastly, why or why not? It will increase the demand for good X if the price of X is more than the price of Y in Leo to decrease in the price of Y since income has been increased. Um, don't really think I have anything else to add there and I also need to wrap it up so our next tutor can take the stage. Correct. Um, so when I was maybe gonna mention a Giffen good here, it may be worth defining just for future reference. Um, I, from what I remember, they're a very rare occurrence. Uh, So they're low income and non-luxury. And it's more of a phenomenon than anything. So what happens with Giffen goods are when the price goes up, demand goes up. And when the price goes down, they're cheaper, demand goes down. Of course, this makes no intuitive sense. Uh, and it's more of like a phenomenon than anything. I'm trying to remember of what examples are. I think it was like some about potatoes in some European country they observe this or something. They're saying like rice and bread and stuff. I don't remember any specific examples about that. And I'm really out of time, so I'm just gonna leave it at this. An interesting read though, if you're interested in why that happens, because I certainly don't know why it is. Um, 
didn't have anything else to add to that. Uh, so thank you for watching. Uh, this has been Kevin from One Class. If you wanted to ask a question, there should be a link below this video. Um, if you ask it, hopefully myself or our other senior tutor, Ose, uh, will be able to get to it and answer it on stream this week. Um, like and share with your friends uh, if you like the video. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. You guys have a nice night.